team keep it clean sit down because it's, it's probably gonna be a little minute um i feel like in every any kind of relationship that you have with somebody um that there should be a high level of transparency honesty straightforwardness that's whether it's a business relationship a personal relationship whether it's a parent a child a significant other uh brother sister cousin aunt uncle what whatever um homeboy homegirl whatever it may be um there should always be a high level of transparency and i feel like we already have that on here um we we have conversations about everything it ain't just raven stuff but we have conversations about life and different things and whatnot um so i feel like we already have that but in this video i wanted to take sort of a a, a deeper dive uh into that in, into our transparency um because something that's is is is, is happening and really i think the situations with uh i've been thinking about this a little bit before but then the situations with Jalen Ferguson and Tony Saragusa, it just made me think about it even more. And it's just not entertaining nonsense. Don't entertain nonsense. Don't. Because it's not worth it. It doesn't do anything for anybody. And now the reason that I bring that up is because the other day, one of my guys, and, and I, I was so disappointed. I was really, really disappointed because... One of my guys who's been watching the channel for years, for years, and the reason I, I can confidently say that is because I remember his name from the comment section from a super long time ago, but he sent me something the other day, and he was like, man, engraving, wow, I, I was on the, the Ravens, their, their live stream the other day doing the presser, and man, these, these people were hating on you, these people were hating on you, they were saying that you were a fake Raven fan, and oh boy, you know how many times I heard that, uh, but anyway, he's like, they saying that you was a, a, a fake Ravens fan, and, and you even got like a, a Steelers page and stuff, and you make Steelers videos, and da 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 da, -da and, and you just collect money from Ravens, and, and I'm like, really? Really? And, and I was so disappointed, not in what they were saying. Because we, we're going to talk about that in a bit, but I wasn't even disappointed in that. I was disappointed that he even entertained that. Because, and then somebody else, like either the next day or the day after, they sent me this thing from, from a whole nother video um, where somebody was like, oh man, um, I, I like this. Uh, this is a real Ravens fans talking on this channel. Not like that fake engraving. He's just a fake fan. And somebody sent me that, and I didn't even respond. Because I'm like, well, what is the point? Like, think about that. What does sending somebody negative stuff that is being said about them, what does that do for you, and what does that do for them? It literally does nothing. It does nothing. It doesn't improve anything. It doesn't enhance anything. It doesn't make anything better. It literally does nothing. So this is why I, I, I get disappointed when people even bring that stuff up, even entertain it, because it's pointless. It's really pointless. And then when you think about it, like the stuff that people say when this is why. And again, we are not the same person. We're not. I mean, I, I, I could throw a little football now, but with Lamar Jackson, um, this is why I understand so much it's not on the same level it's not even close but this is why i understand so much of what he goes through because when people don't have access to you and they once had access to you or they're so used to having access to you or having access to other people who are in your same position but you cut them off they get upset and since you're not saying anything to them then they start to create their own lies. They start to create their own narratives. And they, they really try to push it to where you know that they don't believe it, but they try to convince themselves to believe it, even when it doesn't even make sense. Something that some people have said, oh, man, engraving that guy engraving, he, he, he got a Steelers channel and, and he, he, he makes videos on the Steelers. Please, if I got one of those, point me in a direction because I don't know nothing about it. I, point me in a direction, please. Like, with, with that, first off, if we're going to talk about the Steelers, we do it right here. <laughs> if we're going to talk about any other team, Steelers, Bengals, Browns, Chiefs, Raiders, whole NFL, it's done right here. 
We don't go to no whole other channel just to talk about another. No, y'all know that. You can go through the go through the videos and you'll see <laughs> like that. It doesn't even make sense when people say like foolishness like that. So and then on top of that, like, cause me, I'm I'm not lazy. I'm like a weird kind of lazy. Cause some, sometimes I just I, I ain't got the time for some stuff, and I just don't feel like doing some stuff. Like y'all remember. The Team Keep It Clean podcast. Y'all remember that? Well, some of y'all remember that. Um, and we we had a lot of fun doing that. That was our own podcast that we started. Um, and we we had a good time doing it. Episodes would go from like 30 minutes to about maybe like 45. And we'd talk about really whatever. There was some football stuff, but a lot of it was just life. Excuse me, in general. But I stopped. The reason I stopped is because this channel... It just, it got so busy and I just could not keep up with the podcast, even though it was once a week, once a and, and if I, I think if I really did like really focus and be like, right, you know what, I, I'm, I'm going to do it. I probably could, but a lot of times I just don't feel like it, man. I just don't feel like it because we do so much with this channel and it, it's, it's a lot of work that gets put into this channel. And then of course, everything else that goes on in our personal lives too, but I just, I felt like with the podcast, I, I loved it, but I just, I just ain't feel like doing it. I just ain't feel like doing it no more. Because, again, everything that happens with this channel and things have just picked up and things have just got so busy and they have stayed busy. So if, if I'm not even, <laughs> if, if I ain't even, if I stop doing that channel, and that was, again, my own thing about my personal lives, and y'all know we could talk all day, every day. Why would I create a whole nother channel for a whole nother? Again, we talk about everybody on here. So th this is why when people start these lies, it doesn't even make any sense. It makes zero sense. But what makes even less sense is when people entertain this stuff. When they come to, hey, engraving, you heard what this person said? About, hey, engraving, you heard about? What is that doing for any? I, I, I don't care. And again, every time somebody is saying something about me negatively, I, with with one thousand percent certainty, it's always somebody that's been blocked on here. Every single time, without fail, without fail. Because again, like we said, when people lose access to something that they normally have access to, because some people they'll be shell shocked. Some people won't even know that they blocked initially because they, they might say something disrespectful. And sometimes I might not even catch it in the comment section. Uh, so they might keep going disrespectful. Boom, 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 boom. And then all of a sudden they try to type. And, oh, whoa, hold up. I'm blocked. Wait a minute. Oh, you know what? All right. Engraving slander time, buddy. And it's like it's like people. One of the weirdest things that I see with YouTube and, and it's not just with YouTube. It's in life in general. People will disrespect you. They'll continue to disrespect you. And then when you cut them off, they get flabbergasted and they get upset and they, look, they get all confused like, man, hey, what happened? Why, why are they, and this is basically what they're saying when they get upset, why is this person not letting me disrespect them anymore? I don't get it. You see how much sense that makes? Or really how little sense that makes? Doesn't make any. Why, why is this person not allowing me to disrespect them anymore? I always say uh, one of my favorite, 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 favorite um, things about social media. Block. The block button. The block button. Block and move on. Block and move on. And that's because... That removes that person. And, and I always tell people, I've had conversations with this with a lot of people, especially like other, other like YouTubers and stuff, when they like on the fence about something. They may be on the fence about like somebody in that comment section or even somebody on Twitter, somebody wherever. And, and this is not just for YouTube. This is for people in general. If somebody's like, you, you could, because you, you could tell a lot of people's energy. You could tell the kind of, the kind of vibe that they on. Just by the way that they word stuff, you, you, can, you can always tell. You can always, and if you can't tell initially, then 
over time, you will certainly be able to tell because people will always show themselves. They certainly will without fail. Every single, it never fails, man. People will show themselves. So never, ever feel bad about blocking anybody. Because I don't. I sure don't. I, I, I do not care if somebody just started watching the channel, they brand new, or if somebody been watching for years. If you come in with disrespect, you're gone. That's it. That's it. We not about that disrespect. We ain't about, we don't be on here talking about nobody. No, we not on that. Why? Because it's pointless. That, that doesn't do anything for anybody. Nothing. Nothing. So that's why I, some, somebody talking about, I don't care. You ain't got to send me nothing. That ain't going to do nothing for me. It ain't doing nothing for you. Ima imagine like, what, what's the point? What, you, you sit there and you screenshot something that somebody was saying about me. Okay, I, and I understand that you're probably coming from a good place with it. I understand that. But what does that do for anybody? What does that do? Now, I had stuff on the flip side now too. Like my guy, um, Ravens Online Ungatekeepers. Uh, and shout out to Hendo, by the way. Um, he has sent me a video because I, I hadn't known about the video. But it was my guy, MDT. He had sent me the video and in MDT, in his video, he was giving us a little shout out. So I was like, oh, okay. I said, let, let me go check out the actual video. Let me go, let me, let me go see it. And, and I commented, I commented on it and told him, hey, I really appreciate that. So that was positive engagement. That was uplifting, upbuilding conversation. And I'm not saying, I'm not looking for praise because y'all know I don't care about that. I don't even like praise. I don't. But that was, that's much better than somebody saying, hey, hey, engraved, these people hating on you. Oh, okay. And what, like, when you think about it, what does that say about them? What does that say about them? Because, again, uh, it, it had every single Ravens live stream, again, it never fails. Never. Never fails. I don't even have to say anything. And I'm not saying that in a cocky way. It's more so just showing the toxicity of a lot of them Ravens live stream, the, the chats. Um, and they, they definitely, they need some moderators in there. They've been needing moderators. I don't know why they don't have moderators, but they just, anyway. It's just, it, what does that say about them? I don't have to say a word, but then my name will be brought up and then there'll be a lot of support in there because team keep it clean. I know y'all be coming through, boy, but then there'll be some, there, there'll be some haters and whatnot. And, and hey, the, okay, it's fine. And it's like they, I don't know if they're, they're craving attention. They're craving something that they're not getting. And they keep on doing it and keep on doing it and keep on doing it and keep on, and they're going to keep on doing it. But my, my message to y'all is don't entertain nonsense. And this, again, this ain't even just got to do with me. You can apply this in your own personal lives too. Don't entertain nonsense. Because it's not worth it. It's not worth it for anybody at all. I remember, because um, on, on here, we, we have a lot of fun on here. Y'all know we, we have a lot of fun on here. Uh, we, we laugh at stuff that goes on in the NFL. We laugh at ourselves. We joke around about stuff. There's serious matters, of course, as well. Um, but we, we, we talk about everything, especially everything when it comes to the Ravens. Um, but we, we, we have a lot of fun because it, it's, it's all in fun. It's all in fun. We, of course, we got all our different uh, things that we feel like the Ravens should do, what they shouldn't do, different moves that we feel like they should make, they shouldn't make, so on and so forth. And we talk about the Ravens every single day. But we, we try to, um, to have a, uh, just a positive outlook, not, just on a, not even just on the Ravens, but more so on life. And just to really give people reminders to really try their best to be positive. And we know it's hard. We know it's hard. I had somebody one time. A while back, they were like, man, engraving, why, you, are, you are so fake. You are so fake. You try to act like you're this happy-go-lucky and always positive guy that's perfect and don't make no mistakes and da 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 And initially, I started writing back. I started responding. 
But then I was like, uh, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Because in that video, and like what we always say, in the video, when I talked, and, and it was in the, um, the Ravens, the comment is gone because he got blocked, but it was in the Ravens video, the, the, the one we talked, a message for Ravens fans. It was in that video. Um, and I talked about how, again, how, how Ravens fans, we're going we're gonna to disagree on stuff. We're going to disagree on stuff, but we can do it respectfully and that we got to try to be better people to each other. And that wasn't just for Ravens fans, for everybody. It's okay to disagree with people, but just do it respectfully. That's it. Do it respectfully. And I said, we have to try to get better. And I continue to say we throughout the video. I didn't say y'all. I didn't say you. I said we. Meaning me too. <laughs> but maybe that went over his head. Because you see, again, when people, when people, they, they, they want to believe what they want to believe. A lot of times people will have selective hearing when they have their mind made up about you on certain stuff and they really want to convince themselves to, to, that they want to feel that the way that they feel about you, whether positive or negative, then they can have selective hearing when it comes to especially when they want to have a, a negative viewpoint of you. They are going to come up with stuff in their head and try to believe and they're going to have selective hearing and they're going to try to say, hey, you said this when in all actuality, you really said that. You said the exact opposite. So, again, this is why don't entertain nonsense. If you entertain nonsense, you will walk away from it not feeling better than you felt before you got into it. I, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Because I know a lot of times um, when... And, and, I, and I can understand this because this is a, 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 a human emotion. If people are talking bad about you, but on top of that, they're talking wrong about you. Because that's two different things. If people are going to talk bad about you, that's one thing. But if people are talking bad and it's wrong, it's like incorrect information, it's like, oh, it could be like, man, why are they doing this? What are they saying? Let me go shut all of that down. Let me go prove all of that wrong. But you can prove it wrong in a couple of ways. You can either prove it wrong by your words and you can address stuff head on. You can address stuff straightforward. You'd be like, hey, no, whether you talk to them, you speak to somebody else, but nope, that's not true. That's not me. Nope. Mm -mm. That's false. You can engage with the person who's saying the wrong stuff and be like, hey, you're lying. That's not true. Y'all can go back and forth. You can try to prove to them why they're wrong. They can try to prove to you why they think they're right and go back and forth. And you can end up winning the, the, the argument, the debate, the conversation, whatever. But you will not walk away from that feeling better. Because when you entertain the, the nonsense, it can be draining. It can be like, oh, man, I, yeah, I proved this person wrong, but man, oh, did it really have to come to this? And I'm definitely not saying, oh, just let people walk all over you. Da, 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 da. No, uh, uh, I don't believe that. But you got to know when to and really when not to even deal with stuff. You got to know uh, what battles to, to fight and, and what which ones to be like, uh, no, ain't worth it. So you can prove people wrong through your words, uh, but even better, you can prove them wrong through your actions. Through your actions, through what you do. And I, I um, <laughs> now, one thing that was, that was funny about um, it, the, something that the guy sent me the other day, uh, somebody was like, man, Engraving going to make like five videos off this one presser. That was funny. That was funny. I, I appreciated that one. <laughs> I appreciated that. But um, even with that, like, if what's, what's your real complaint? Like, think about it. What is people's real problem? Is, is people's real problem with me? Or is it with themselves? Because think about it. If you feel like I'm going to make five videos off of one uh, press conference, um, and I think we made, we made two, by the way. We only, we only made two. So he, he was right 20%. Um, but 
he was wrong the other 80. But anyway, uh, hold up. Is that the right math? Or is it 40%? No, it might be he was right 40% and wrong the other 60. Anyway, um, I feel like my math is all messed up. Anyway, uh, with that, um, is, is, is there an issue with me or is the issue with them and their preference? Because, say for instance, if we did make five videos off of one presser, is there a problem? Is there a reason, are you watching all five videos? And if there's such an issue, and we said this before, I just, I, I don't understand why people feel the need to torture themselves if it's something that they don't like and something that's not their preference. If you feel like I'm going to make five videos off of one presser. Don't watch them. Don't watch them. If you feel like videos are too long. Two, two options. You can watch them sped up or you don't have to watch them at all. If you feel like videos are too short. You get it? You, you, you don't have to watch. You don't have to uh, subject yourself to that. If something's not for you, I, I don't understand why people feel like if something's not for them, why would they even entertain it? See, because it, go, it goes both ways. With entertaining nonsense, if you feel like, say you felt like my videos were nonsense, why would you entertain them? Get it? Why would you entertain them? It doesn't make any sense. If you feel like my videos suck, they're bad, they're this, they're that. If, if you just don't like them, you don't like me for whatever reason, I ain't got no problem with nobody. So again, that's weird. That's really weird. If somebody say, hey, man, I don't like that guy in Graven. If it's you don't like the style of videos, you don't like my voice, you don't like my face, you don't, okay, well, even though they're still kind of weird, but... You, it, it ain't everything ain't for everybody and that's fine I appreciate that but why if if my style is not for you then why are you continuing to talk about me you see that that's weird that's really weird cuz I always liken it to a TV show I always do that because that's probably the best comparison that I, I could use if there's a TV show that I just, I don't like, I, I, well, initially, before I realize that I don't like it, I try to watch it. I watch a couple of episodes, maybe watch one or two episodes. And initially, I might be like, uh, I don't know about this right now. Let me, let me watch another episode just, just to confirm, just to make sure, just, just to be 1,000% sure that I either do, I'm going to start liking it, or I don't like this show. Okay, cool. So I go and watch it, and it's like, nah, I don't like it. I mean, talk about it for a little bit initially. I'll probably talk to my wife about it or something. Hey, nah, I don't like this show. Then after that, boom, it's done. I'm not going to keep going back to her. Man, I, I really don't like that show. I don't like that show. No, I'm, I'm not going to watch it. If I don't like it, I'm not going to watch it. It's like, and it's the same thing with like a restaurant. With a restaurant, like it, it happened to me with Chipotle. Um, initially with Chipotle, I don't even remember why. But I was like, Chipotle, oh, Chipotle ain't nothing. I ain't really feeling Chipotle. So I didn't go back for a while. But then I forget what happened, and I ended up going back. It's like, I, I, I tried out again or whatever. Try out Chipotle again. And I had it, and I was like, oh, oh, this is good. Then I had it again, and I was like, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. This, this is good. It's very filling, too. Um,. Then I had it again and again and again and then a bunch of other times too. And I, oh yeah, yeah, Chipotle is is yeah, is actually really good. So, but my point is, I, I I tried it out. I tried it out, and initially I didn't like it. Initially I was like, ah, oh, this is not for me. But then I tried it out some more, and I was like, oh, okay, oh, it ain't so bad. But on the flip side, if there was a restaurant that I tried and I didn't like, and I was like, ah, uh, maybe it was just that first time I didn't like. Oh, okay, maybe I tried again. Because maybe it was just a, a one-time thing. Maybe they were off that day. Maybe I went there around like closing time and I just, nah, I wasn't feeling, nope. Try it again. Oh, oh yeah, I, I don't like this. This food, it, it's, it's not for me. I, I don't like it. So what would I do? Stop going. Stop going. 
And it's the same thing with the channel. If you don't, and this is not just with this channel, obviously, it's with anything, any channel that you watch, any show, whatever. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Complaining about it, it doesn't help anything. It doesn't help anything. In fact, it actually, actually, actually it kind of does because that actually drives more people to go see this, this, this said channel that you said is so bad. If you're saying, hey, this channel sucks. Hey, this guy is terrible. Hey, this guy is fake. Then some people who may not know about that guy, they're going to be, or that girl, they're going to be like, huh, who, who are they talking about? So they're going to go check them out for themselves. And hey, it could be their cup of tea. It may not be their cup of tea. But at the same time, they're going to get a cup. They're going to get a sample of that said thing that you said is so bad. And if they agree with you, cool. If they don't agree with you, even cooler. Uh, but you are actually helping them out with, you, with your negativity. That negativity is turning into a positive because they coming through to go watch what you're talking about. So, see, it's just that's why. <laughs> So if, if you really don't like certain stuff, there is no need to even entertain it. There's no need to entertain it. Because it would be the same way. Hey, if I'm, ah, oh man, I don't like that restaurant. That restaurant is nasty. That, the, the food was bad. Da, 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 da. That could actually make somebody, because you know, people, people are weird. And we, we, we are weird. We, we, the way that we think, the way that we take things, the way that we understand things, the way that we break things down and whatnot in our minds, it can be really weird. Cause it, and especially it, it just reminds me of, of kids. Hey, don't do that. Don't do that. You, you better not touch that. Hey, you better not mess with that. That can actually make you want to do it that much more. So it's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So again, please don't, <clears throat> don't entertain nonsense. Don't entertain nonsense because it's just, it's not worth it at all and again i i felt like i i just had to do this video again not even necessarily for me but uh for for everybody because we all got nonsense that we deal with all the time in one way shape form fashion whatever we all got nonsense that we deal with um but y'all y'all know a, a lot of the nonsense that we deal with on here uh, yeah, and then another thing, yeah, the 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 oh, Engraven is a he's a fake Ravens fan. Like I saw, I saw one thing that said, um, man, Engraven Engraven is a fake Ravens fan, and he he collects money from Ravens fans, but he's not a real. Ra and I'm like, what? <laughs> like if you like listen to people what they be saying, man, and it's it's, it's like it don't make no sense, man. It don't make no sense. It does not make any kind of sense whatsoever, man. And, <coughs> excuse me, but people, they will try to convince themselves of lies. Of lies. They really will. I think one thing that people, um, that people try to do, they try to turn a positive into a negative. Let me tell you why. Because y'all know how on here, me, uh, we, we, we're straight up on here. Uh, we're, we're straight up about how we feel again about the Ravens, about moves that they make, stuff that they don't make. Da, 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 da. We're straight up about that. And we, but we do it respectfully. Be like, oh man, this guy's stupid, he's dumb. No, we ain't on none of that. But hey, some stuff we agree with, some stuff we don't. And hey, some people like that, some people don't. And some people agree with it, some people don't. And that's fine. That's fine. Because we all got the way that we view this football team, the Ravens. But where, where people, I think, where they try to really come up with their own narratives and what they don't like is respect. Reason I say that is because when we speak of other teams, whether it's teams within a division like Steelers, Browns, or Bengals, uh, where there's other teams in the AFC, other teams in the NFL, when we speak about other teams and we're not on here like, oh, they suck, oh, they're terrible, oh, they're this, they're that, if we're actually talking about them, but we're doing it with respect. 
And we're talking about them with the same respect that we speak about the Ravens and the team with. We're speaking about other teams as well. A lot of people don't like that. And that's what people feel like. Oh, man, you're fake. You're fake. You're fake. You're fake. You're fake. And it's like, no, it's not fake. It's just respect. It's respect. I, in my opinion, I, I feel like you don't you don't have to badmouth somebody just to get a point across. Even if it's something that you don't agree with. You don't got to be all nasty about it, all crazy, disrespectful, anything like, no, you don't got to do all that. What's the point? What's the point? And I mean, again, everything ain't for everybody. Some people agree with that. Some people don't. And that's fine. But I'm going to do things the way that I see fit for me. Like another thing, too, that people, uh, they don't like morals. Morals. I have morals and I refuse. I will never let a check, any money, any opportunity get in the way of my morals. I will never let any of that come before my morals. Growth of the channel and any of that. And a lot of people, they don't like that. They don't like that. Team keep it clean. That's... That's me. And that's not just for the channel. That's just me in general, in life. But Team Keep It Clean, it's a family-friendly channel. It's for everybody. Everybody's welcome. Y'all know that. And that's whether you Ravens fans, Lions fans. Like, I had the other day, I had some guy comment, and he was like, hey, man, I've been watching this channel for years. And I'm a Lions fan. I was like, hey, well, hey I appreciate it, man. Shout out to, De to Deshaun Elliott and Chris Boyd, by the way. But the channel's for everybody, man. Everybody is more than welcome to watch, subscribe, be a part of it, man. Because it's for everybody. Um, and, but we keep it clean. Again, it's family friendly. So adults, if you're watching and the kids come in the room, you ain't got to be like, all right, we got to change it. Nope. No, no, no. They can watch too. If kids watching and the uh, parents come in the room, you ain't got to be like, oh, we got to put headphones on. We got to turn that. No, no. Everybody's more than welcome to watch. Everybody. And that's what I appreciate uh, about it, that everybody comes through. Everybody. People of all ages, backgrounds, job type, everything. Everybody comes through. And, I, and I, I, that's exactly what we wanted it to be. What we, what we wanted it to be was a, sort of a, a, a safe space for Everybody. Um, again, that's one of the biggest reasons for questions from subscribers, because that created a, a safe space for people. They may have this question that they think is just wild that, oh, man, if I put this up somewhere, people are going to rip me apart. No, OK, well, I'll ask a question. then. I'll say it. I don't mind. Give everybody a chance to, to, to get their, their, their thoughts across on how they feel about different matters with the team and whatnot, and just to do it in fun. To do it in fun. Um, but yeah, so people uh, with morals, they, especially when it comes to respect, especially when it comes to not the, no cursing, um, they either respect it or they don't. And that's life. That's life. It is exactly what it is. Um, I have had uh, a lot over the, over the years, man, a lot of opportunities uh where companies will reach out whether it be like the, the different like betting companies and stuff and you know like recently is they, they've been going crazy with it i don't believe in better and y'all know that i said that plenty of times before I don't, I don't believe in better um but they these companies will reach out and they be like hey we offer you this a significant amount of money to, to advertise it on your channel and there's, there's been a lot there's been some companies that reached out and I told them no. And then they, they turn around and reach out again. And the proposal looks nice. I'm like, whoa, okay, wow. That, that does look nice. That's a nice little chunk of change right there. But I say no. No. Because I'm, I'm not selling out for no check, man. And the sad part, I've seen people um, that I, I know uh, that I've watched them grow in different aspects of YouTube and stuff. And I've seen people sell out for a check. I've seen it. 
And it's unfortunate when you do see it. Um, but you just you just gotta wish him well, man. Gotta wish him well. Um, cause I I wouldn't advertise something on a channel that I didn't agree with, and that I wouldn't even wouldn't support myself. Um, so yeah, it's, it's unfortunate to see that. But again, uh, I'm not sacrificing my morals for a little extra bread. No, it's it's definitely not ever worth it. But not everybody likes that. Not everybody agrees with it. But hey, that that's fine. In in order to be in sort of I guess this lane, this avenue, whatever, um, you got to know that you're not going to please everybody. You're not. And that's one of the bottom lines with this whole video. You're never gonna be able to please everybody. And the sooner you come to the realization that you can't and that you won't. The more at peace you'll be. The more at peace you'll be. And you also need to be willing to stand 10 toes down on what you believe in. Because if you don't, you're going to drive yourself crazy. You're going to drive yourself crazy. I always say, man, hey, if, again, you, you could tell people's vibe. You could tell people's vibe by how they talk, how they approach you, how they speak about stuff. How they comment on stuff, you you could tell the vibe that they on. And don't be afraid to remove those people. They'll get upset, yeah, they're gonna talk about you. Again, they they do it, they do it to me all the time. But it's it's point, don't don't entertain it. Don't entertain the nonsense, because it is not worth it. You will not benefit anything from it. So again, I don't need y'all sending me what this person said, that person said, and whatever comments because I really don't care. I don't. I don't. I really don't. Seriously, I, I, I don't. Because it, it doesn't do anything for me, but even more importantly, it doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't make you feel better. And, and again, like I said before, I know it comes from a good place. I know it comes from a good place because I know, like, y'all, I know y'all got my back. I know, and I, I appreciate that. But I want to have your back too. And my way of having your back is by telling you to not even sweat that stuff. Don't entertain it. Don't engage with it. Just ignore, block, move on. That's it. That's it. That's it. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And again, I always appreciate what y'all are trying to do because I, I get it. I, I understand it. I understand it. But y'all, please try to understand from this side because it. It does. It, if if you do, if you engage with it, it's not going to make you feel any better. And then you go, hey, engraver, look at this. It's not going to help anything. So don't even engage with it. Don't engage with it. Don't entertain it at all because it's it's senseless. It's senseless. Um, Jalen Ferguson and uh, Tony Saragusa. Just those. Um, those unfortunate uh, events that happened just really gave me a reminder for this because it's like, you just never know. You never know when your time is coming. You never know. So why would you spend time sweating small, stupid stuff? Why would you spend your time uh, engaging and entertaining nonsense? For what? That, that's a waste of your time. It's a waste of your effort. It's a waste of your energy. It's a waste of uh, space on your phone taking screenshots. It's a waste of the energy that you use your fingers to type whatever message you're responding to. It's just a waste all around. It's a waste. It's a waste. So don't waste your time. I love y'all.